So let me tell y'all about the deposits or bonds in Spain. Because I think this needs to be talked about, especially if you're actually going to travel to Spain and actually be in Spain for some time. So Spain has this system, which I'm not really accustomed to because I'm from America. And in America, you don't have to pay deposits for apartments if you have good credit, right? Now, don't get me wrong. I understand that I wasn't from this country. They didn't know what I was going to be doing and a deposit was required. So... I get the apartment. I even talk to them. I tell them I would pay them up front six months. I believe it was six months. Close to, I think my apartment's around $1,500 plus some whack ass uh, agency fee. Let me tell y'all, that's some scamming shit right there. So I pay my agency fee, which takes my apartment from like 15, I think it was like an extra $200 or something, or 200 euros per month. So take my apartment from 15 to 17. So overall in six months, I was roughly at around like almost close to 10 grand, if I'm being honest. So when I get in, I'm used to, you know, coming in, taking pictures of everything, taking videos of everything, just to make sure we all on the same page. Now I do this as a precaution because I'm not one to really play the whole game of playing with my deposit when I when it's time for me to leave. So I always make sure to, you know, make sure that I'm crossing my uh, crossing my T's and dotting my I's. So when I tell y'all, I actually do all of this. I take videos, I take pictures, I send them the video, I send them the pictures, everything. Just to make sure we on the same page that, oh, I'm, I'm documenting my shit to make sure that I get my money back. When I tell y'all at the end of this contract, I reach out to these people, like literally I'm thinking like three months before, I think it was like a December, I was leaving in February. And I basically asked them in so many words, send me an itemized uh, you know, letter with all of the bills and how everything was going and how everything should be, right? Now, now mind you, they tell me that they're going to get it to me. And I'm like, make sure y'all get me this before I leave. Otherwise, I know what y'all trying to do. So after I realized that they were just playing in my face and that they weren't going to give it to me, I started taking things to my own hands. But let me finish telling my story. So right before I'm about to leave, I ask again and they're like, we're going to ask the landlord. We're going to make sure that he or she gets you the, the itemized, you know, bills, right? So I knew at this point that they was about to play some games. Now, mind you, I'm going to give you a little backstory. Uh, before I, I left, I had stayed two months in Gran Canarias, which is basically an island of Spain, where they basically came back to me with the bills and was basically saying that, we can't give you a certain amount of the deposit back because the heat, the heat in the apartment, the, the gas bill was much higher. Now, my stove was electric. I cook every day. My, low, my stove was electric. My hot water heater that was from my house, that was, I believe, gas or maybe gas, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure it probably was gas. Um, and it was only me living in the house. So I send them back in the response of the bills. It says, well, this is interesting. It's, it's fucking cold right now. So tell me how my heating is higher in the summer. You're saying in July and August than it is in December and January and also February. They come back to respond and says, oh, we only can report what the bills are. I had already planned for this. So what it came down to is what I ultimately did and told them that they can just take the money out of the last month's rent. I mean, I, my, I was the deposit and y'all can play around with whatever's left because we're not going to play that game. I know what y'all trying to do. Only for the same thing that happened to me literally just happened to one of my friends in Spain. So I just want to let y'all know before you trickle your ass down to Spain, Understand that them people is not giving you your deposit back. They're not going to give you your deposit back. And they're going to make up every excuse and every reason to not give you your damn money back.